The Great Lakes, five vast bodies of freshwater, hold one-fifth of the world's surface freshwater. Stretching across the heart of North America, they are so immense that they can be seen from space, their blue expanse shaping the very geography of the continent. For centuries, their blue depths defined a region, shaping industries and communities. The lakes powered the rise of bustling port cities, fueled trade, and provided livelihoods for generations living along their shores. People relied on their predictable cycles, icy winters, spring thaws, cool summers, and vibrant autumns. These rhythms guided everything from fishing seasons to family traditions, weaving the lakes into the fabric of daily life. But in June 2025, that rhythm is gone. The Great Lakes are transforming rapidly, driven by a warming world. Unpredictable weather, sudden storms, and shifting shorelines have become the new normal. These lakes are more than water. They're a complex ecosystem, an economic engine, and a source of drinking water for millions. They support countless species, connect cities, and sustain agriculture and industry. Their health is a barometer for the continent. When the lakes thrive, so do the people, plants, and animals that depend on them. Now, the signs of distress are everywhere, eroding bluffs, unpredictable water levels, and vanishing certainties. Homes and businesses face new risks as the shoreline shifts and water levels swing wildly. The vastness of the lakes once suggested they could absorb anything, but decades of pollution, invasive species, and now climate change have pushed them to a tipping point. The balance that once seemed unbreakable is now fragile. The transformation in 2025 is a stark reminder, no system is immune to global shifts. The lake's fate is tied to choices made far beyond their shores. The Great Lakes Basin spans two countries and countless communities, demanding unprecedented cooperation and innovative thinking. Solutions must cross borders and unite people in common cause. As we stand at mid-2025, the future of these freshwater giants hangs in the balance. The choices we make today will echo for generations. The decisions we make now will determine if the lakes can adapt or become casualties of a changing planet. Our actions will shape whether these waters remain a source of life and inspiration. The stakes could not be higher for the millions who depend on them. Every community, every family, every living thing in the basin is connected to the lake's fate. The freshwater seas are speaking, and their message is urgent. Will we listen, and will we act in time to protect them? The familiar cadence of Great Lakes seasons is fading fast, slipping away with each passing year. What once felt like a reliable cycle, winter's chill, spring's renewal, summer's warmth, and autumn's crispness, now feels uncertain and unpredictable. In 2025, residents talk of weather whiplash, one week, record warmth, the next a sudden freeze. People find themselves shoveling snow one day and wearing shorts the next, struggling to keep up with the rapid changes. The old, predictable progression of seasons has unraveled, replaced by a patchwork of extremes that defy expectations and challenge traditions. Climate change now means volatility, more frequent, more intense extremes. Storms arrive with little warning and snow melts away almost as quickly as it falls. Winters trend milder and shorter with less ice cover, a change we'll explore soon. The lakes, once locked in ice, now remain open longer, altering habitats and local economies. Spring arrives in fits and starts, with early thaws followed by damaging frosts that devastate crops and confuse wildlife. Farmers and gardeners face new risks while animals struggle to adapt to the shifting cues. Unpredictable runoff brings either floods or drought, stressing water supplies and agriculture. Rivers swell or shrink unexpectedly making planning for the future more difficult. Summers are hotter, with more severe heat waves and storms that overwhelm cities and flood neighborhoods. Urban areas face new challenges as infrastructure is tested by the relentless weather. The atmosphere, warmer and wetter, now delivers rain in sudden torrential bursts. These downpours can turn streets into rivers in minutes, catching communities off guard. Autumn's crisp air and vibrant colors are delayed, and when cold arrives it's often abrupt and harsh. The beauty of fall is shortened, replaced by sudden chills and early snows. Tourism, farming and daily life are all upended by this volatility. Families, businesses and entire communities must adapt to a new normal that feels anything but normal. The Great Lakes identity, once tied to four distinct seasons, is being rewritten. The region's sense of place shaped by its climate is now in flux. As summer 2025 approaches, the region braces for new extremes. Emergency plans are updated and residents prepare for whatever the next season may bring. The old rhythms are broken, the future is uncertain and the only constant now is change itself. The decline of winter ice cover is one of the most visible and dramatic changes now unfolding across the Great Lakes region. 
Each year the lakes are freezing later and thawing earlier leaving vast stretches of open water exposed to the elements. Thick ice once protected shorelines, slowed evaporation, and supported winter traditions. For generations communities gathered on the frozen lakes to fish, skate, and celebrate the season, relying on the ice as both a shield and a stage for winter life. By 2025 long-lasting ice is rare. Warmer air and water mean thinner ice that forms later and melts sooner, sometimes vanishing altogether before winter's end. Some winters, parts of the lakes barely freeze at all, leaving the water vulnerable to wind and waves even in the coldest months. Without ice, shorelines face the full force of winter storms, accelerating erosion and threatening homes, roads and vital infrastructure along the coast. The cost of defending coastlines is enormous, requiring constant repairs and new barriers, and often only shifts the problem elsewhere along the shore. Open water in winter also means more evaporation, leading to fluctuating water levels and further stress on the system. The lakes lose more water to the air, and the balance becomes harder to maintain. Less ice means more water lost, and heavy precipitation can't always make up the difference. Beaches shrink, and the landscape changes with every season. The loss of ice also disrupts local economies and lake ecology, winter tourism suffers, and fish species lose critical habitat. Businesses that depend on winter visitors struggle, and the natural cycles of the lakes are thrown off balance. Food webs shift and fish populations change as some species decline and others move in, altering the delicate balance of life in the lakes. The vanishing ice is not just a symptom of climate change, it's a powerful agent of further transformation, reshaping the lakes in ways that ripple through every aspect of the ecosystem. The lakes are being reshaped in ways we're only beginning to understand. Scientists race to study these changes, hoping to find solutions before the damage becomes irreversible. The message is clear. The loss of ice is a warning. The future of the Great Lakes depends on how we respond. Will we heed it? For years, we focused on rain snow and rivers to explain Great Lakes water levels. But by 2025, scientists reveal groundwater's crucial, often overlooked role. The lakes and underground aquifers are more connected than we thought. Sometimes the lakes recharge groundwater, sometimes the reverse. Human activities like irrigation and urban water use can deplete aquifers, reducing the water available to the lakes. Subsurface geology, ancient bedrock and glacial deposits creates hidden pathways for water movement. Land use changes far from the lake shores can disrupt these flows, impacting lake levels. Managing the lakes now means considering the entire watershed, above and below ground. Researchers are racing to include groundwater in predictive models. The lakes are not isolated, they're deeply connected to the earth beneath. The challenges of 2025 are fueling a wave of water innovation across the Great Lakes. The region is transforming from industrial heartland to a hub for water technology, the blue economy. Smart lakes are emerging equipped with sensor networks and data analytics to monitor water quality, temperature, and pollution in real time. Underwater drones and even historic shipwrecks are now scientific platforms, gathering data from the lake depths. AI analyzes this torrent of information, offering early warnings for algal blooms and contaminant spills. Startups are developing efficient filtration, precision irrigation, and water-saving tech for industry and agriculture. Universities and governments are investing in research and innovation, hoping to make the region a global leader. But questions remain. Who owns the data? Who benefits? Can technology solve deeper ecological and social issues? The Silicon shores are rising, but their true impact is still unfolding. The explosion of lake data is a double-edged sword. It empowers scientists and policymakers but also raises questions about access and control. As private companies run more monitoring systems, will crucial data become restricted or costly? The debate over water as a commodity is intensifying. Should water and its data be bought and sold or protected as a public trust? Proponents say markets drive efficiency. Opponents warn of ethical dangers and loss of public control. Decisions about water allocation could be driven by profit, not ecological or social needs. In 2025, these are urgent, real-world debates. The region must balance innovation with transparency and public access. The price of water intelligence cannot be the loss of public stewardship. The Great Lakes are a shared resource governed by treaties between the U.S. and Canada. In 2025, climate change and shifting politics are straining this partnership. The Line 5 pipeline beneath the Straits of Mackinac is a flashpoint. Aging infrastructure, environmental risk, and cross-border disputes. Michigan wants it shut down. Canada insists it's vital for energy security. 
Legal battles escalate, highlighting the challenge of managing shared resources when national interests diverge. Other issues, water withdrawals, pollution, invasive species, add to the friction. As global water scarcity grows, the Great Lakes' future depends on continued cooperation and finding common ground. Extreme weather in 2025 is disrupting agriculture, shipping, and insurance across the Great Lakes. Farmers face late frosts, floods, and droughts, forcing rapid adaptation or risking ruin. Shipping is hit by fluctuating water levels. Low levels mean lighter loads, high levels threaten infrastructure. More frequent storms delay voyages and endanger crews. Insurance claims surge for flood damage, crop failures and coastal erosion, driving up premiums and making coverage scarce. Municipalities struggle with rising costs for repairs and climate adaptation. Supply chains and tourism are disrupted by unpredictable weather. The region's economy is under constant stress. The new normal is adaptation and resilience. The psychological toll is heavy for those who call this region home. Amid challenges, hope emerges in places like Thunder Bay, Ontario. By 2025, Thunder Bay is recognized for blending indigenous knowledge, scientific research, and local innovation in water stewardship. Deep engagement with Anishinaabe communities brings traditional wisdom into water management. Academic research and water-focused startups drive practical solutions for monitoring and sustainability. This holistic, inclusive approach offers a blueprint for the entire region. The future of the Great Lakes depends on learning from such models and acting decisively. The time for adaptation is now, before today's transformations become tomorrow's crises.